find the efficiency of a cycle which has two isochoric lines and two adiabatic lines if the volume during the cycle changes n times so let's start by writing the efficiency that is work done by the gas divided by q1 so why q1 because uh, in the process 4 to 1 heat is taken in by the system and heat is released here so efficiency is work upon heat taken in so w by q1 and of course in the in the whole process the change in internal energy is zero so delta q is equal to delta w so delta w we can write as delta q which is q1 minus q2 so here we are just writing q2 in mod form so both are positive so this is what we need to find 1 minus mod of q2 by q1 now in isochoric process the delta q is n cv dt so n cv dt so cv if we take out the n dt we can write as p2 minus p3 into v let me just write it here so there is no confusion so this is the heat in an isochoric process so we can write it as cv into n delta t and because the process is isochoric v is constant so n delta t can be written as delta p into v so in q2 part q2 part the delta p is p2 minus p3 and volume is nv so this is q2 we have written p2 first because we want this to be positive and q1 similarly is cv into delta p which is p1 minus p4 into v into v so we have got this ratio of p2 minus p3 upon p1 minus p4 which we need to find so for that we are going to use the adiabatic processes and we are going to relate the pressure and volume because the volume ratio is known to us and pressure is something which we need to find so our equation is pv raised power gamma is constant so in the first adiabatic process 1 to 2 p1 into v raised power gamma for this point is equal to p2 into nv raised power gamma and for for the process 3 to 4 so let's write for the 4 first so at this point p4 into v raised power gamma is equal to p3 into nv raised power gamma so now you can see we can find this uh, ratio now so if we just subtract these two equations we get uh, p1 minus p4 into v raised power gamma is equal to p2 minus p3 into n v raised power gamma so v raised power gamma will get cancelled and we'll get this ratio p2 minus p3 by p1 minus p4 as 1 upon n power gamma so we'll put that ratio here and get our answer so this is the efficiency of this cycle